This is Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus. We're doing 10.7 in precalc, which is polar coordinates. Uh, in example 3, we're asked to convert the rectangular coordinates to polar. So we're going to use those same equations that we've seen, but we're going to have to be a little bit more creative because it's going to be slightly harder to find theta. That's going to involve some, some more trig. I mean, not really more trig, just trig in the opposite direction. Uh, when you're converting to rectangular, you had to know the coordinates of an angle on the unit circle, like if you were given a pi over 4, you had to know uh, what points you got from that. And here you're going to have to do the opposite. You're going to be given a point and you're going to have to find the angle. Uh, so uh, let's start with A, right? So I know that x squared plus y squared should give me r squared, right? So I end up getting that 1 squared plus a negative 1 squared gives me r squared. So I get that 2 is my r squared. So r is either a plus or minus uh, the square root of 2. The reason it could be either is it depends on what angle I choose. If I choose the angle that I want to walk in the direction of, like if I'm, I want to walk forward, then I'd pick a positive r. If I want to pick the reverse angle and walk backwards, I'd pick a negative r. So we're going to come back to that in a sec. The other equation that uh, relates theta, because that's the thing I need, is that tangent of theta should be y on top of x. So I want where the tangent of theta is a negative 1 over 1 or just a negative 1. Well, there are two spots where the tangent of theta is a negative 1. It's the pi over 4s in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. So I could have either theta is 3 pi over 4 or theta is 7 pi over 4. So now the trick is I need to pick a combination of these two pieces of information that are going to give me the right point. So I want you to look at your original point and think where it is. The point 1 comma negative 1 is in quadrant 4, right? It's in quadrant 4. So there are two ways I can do this, right? I can either, meaning that this is the angle I want if I want to use a positive radius. So option 1, which is probably the easiest option, is to say, I will pick 7 pi over 4, and I want to walk forward, meaning my r is positive, right? Another option, though, right, you could have also picked the option that you're going to use 3 pi over 4 and walk backwards, which would be a negative root 2 as your radius, right? Uh, and still yet a third option is maybe you decided you didn't want to call this angle 7 pi over 4. Maybe you decided you wanted to call it negative pi over 4 because had you rotated in the opposite direction, that's what it would have been. So you could have called it negative pi over 4 and walked forwards. That's only three options. There are literally infinite options. So when you look in the back of a book and it says something like infinite correct answers, that's why because it's a circle, and so you could keep looping around. If you wanted to be the weirdo that instead of using negative pi over 4, used, I don't know, negative 17 pi over 4, because that would be, nope, is that not right? That's not right. Hang on. Uh, negative 17 pi over 4 wouldn't be right. Uh, I'd need it to be a 2 pi. So, right. So 8 pi over 4 would be one way around. So, oh yeah, no, I was right. 8 pi over 4 would be one time around. Uh, another 8 pi over 4 would be 2, so negative 17 pi over 4 would mean you went around two full times and then also went the extra pi over 4. Um, that'd be weird, right? But you could, right? So my point is there are infinite right options. The easiest one to pick by far is, hey, this is the angle I want and I want to walk forward. All right, so that's A. Let's do B. So B is slightly easier. If you picture where B is, right, this is negative uh, 4 on the y-axis, right? So honestly, you could go with the really easy route of just looking at this with your eyeballs and saying, oh look, I'm going to use theta is 3 pi over 2, and I'm going to walk 4 units in that direction, right? So option 1 is that you could say, hey, I'm going to walk 4 units at 3 pi over 2. Or uh, uh, option 2 is you could face this way instead. You could face pi over 2. And you can walk backwards, right? Negative 4 comma pi over 2, right? Or a third option, if you wanted, is that you could, instead of going all this way to get to 3 pi over 2, you could have called this negative pi over 2, right? You could have said, hey, I'm going to go to negative pi over 2 and walk forward. And there are more options. Again, I'm going to point out that there are literally infinite options. Um, now, could you have figured this one out the same way I did here? Uh, sure. But because this occurs on the x or y axis, like the ones that occur on the axes are honestly easier to just figure out intuitively from the graph. Uh, so that's sort of the gist of example three.